so uh, today's topic for uh, is basic computer organization whatever be the shape size and structure of the computer you are following you are using all the computers are organized in the same way way they follow the same process to accept the inner data from the outer world to process the data and to uh, uh, to convert the data into on the uh, output so even though the size shape performance liability and cost of computers have been changing over the years initially the size of the computer was very very large and uh, it was used only as a calculating device and even after taking utmost care the results were not as liable as today and the cost of the computers was very high very expensive only a few companies can afford one or two computer earlier as the shape and size of the computers was very large we need uh, extra precautions to keep those computers but with the uh, as the uh, technology gets changed the size of the computer gets small and today we are here, we are we can carry our computer anywhere but initially it was not so so the basic logic structure of the computer was proposed by a scientist uh, called von neumann so uh, even today the same structure is followed by the all the computers either you are using desktop either you are using laptop or you are using some special computers so all computer systems irrespective of the shape and size performs the five basic operations of converting raw input data means whatever data you are providing to the computer and after getting that uh, and after processing the data the data gets converted into information all the computers uh, computers follow the five main processes that is inputting storing processing outputting and controlling inputting is the process to provide data to the computer since computer is a machine it cannot read any data by its own until unless you will not explicitly provide the data to the computer so we need to input the data we need to provide the data to the computer that data uh, that uh, pro that process is called inputting storing since you want to process the data first we need to store the data somewhere uh, in the computer the after entering the whole data the data will get processed so the, for uh, for saving the data in the computer it is called the storing processing whatever results you want to get so to get those results you need to process that data for example if you want to calculate the result or you want to calculate the percentage of a student you first you need to enter the marks and after entering the marks you have to apply some formula to get the uh, result so that formula that process is called processing okay uh, next is outputting outputting is whatever data whatever information you uh, that has been processed what and uh, that you have got after processing the data needs to display to the world that processed data is called information and you can say it is called your output controlling controlling it is the mechanism to control all the above four processes so this is the basic organization of a computer system it is the block diagram of a computer we have three units uh, in this block diagram input unit the total storage unit and the output unit the solid lines are show indicates the flow of instructions and data means how the data the uh, the input that you have been provided to the computer moves inside the computer and the dotted lines indicate the control exercised by the control unit how this control unit uh, controls the whole part of the computer so let's start from the beginning you, the input unit is used to take data from the outside world the data can be in the form of program program is called a set of instructions means uh, how uh, how you can manipulate that data so program or data you provide to the input unit once the data has been read by the input unit the input unit will send it to the storage unit because before processing the data you need to store that data some uh, somewhere so the storage unit or it is called your memory 
ठीक है दिस मेमोरी हेल्प यू टू स्टोर द डेटा वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरी इन इट वी कॉल्ड इट प्राइमरी स्टोरेज और सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज प्राइमरी स्टोरेज इज इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मेन मेमोरी और वॉलेटाइल मेमोरी मीन्स हेयर द डेटा इज सेव्ड टेम्परेली वंस द सिस्टम गेट स्विस्ट ऑफ द डेटा विल गेट लॉस्ट फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी स्टोरेज बट वंस द डेटा गेट्स स्टोर्ड इन सेकेंडरी मेमोरी इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऑक्जिलरी मेमोरी इट इज नॉन वॉलेटाइल इन नेचर मीन्स वंस द डेटा गेट सेव्ड ओवर हेयर इट विल नॉट गेट इरेज्ड अंटिल अनलेस एक्सप्लिसिटली यू विल नॉट डिलीट द डेटा फ्रॉम हेयर सो all the uh, processing uh, input unit provides data to this memory first the data remains stored in primary storage because uh, all the uh, uh, whenever the data gets transferred to the uh, central processing unit all the processing will takes place from this primary storage okay then the data after being stored uh, in the storage unit the data get transferred to the central processing unit central processing unit is called the brain of the computer just like your brain your brain take uh, take decisions whatever part of the body you want to move whatever uh, whatever task you want to perform it's the brain who coordinates uh, uh, with your actions so central processing unit is called the brain of the con uh, computer it consists of two uh uh two components your control unit and arithmetic logic unit control unit is called the nerve system of the computer means it actually doesn't perform any processing bit it but it directs the control of the flow of information in the overall system means from where the data has to be taken from where the data has to be provided uh, uh, how the data will get processed what are the necessary instructions that need to follow uh, these all the all decisions will be taken by the control unit means it decides the control it, uh, it decides the control to where data has to be sent and how the data will get processed so control unit then pass the data to the arithmetic and logic unit it is also called alu alu is used to perform all arithmetic calculation and to take some decisions so after being processed the data again move to the storage if you want to save the data permanently the data will move to the secondary storage otherwise if you want to uh, give uh, provide the data to the outside world the data will move to the output unit this output unit used to display the data in the form of information to the outside world so this is the basic organization of a computer system so if we summarize all these operations an input unit performs the following function it accepts or read instructions and data from the outside world it converts these instruction and data in computer acceptable form since we as a human can uh, give the information to the computer in our language whatever language you are using but computer understands the lang binary language that is the language of 0 and 1 so we need a mechanism to convert the data into a computer acceptable form that can be done by your input unit it supplied the converted instruction and data to computer system for further processing so it uh, whatever data it gets from the out, uh, outside world it first converted it into computer acceptable form and then uh, process the data for further processing output unit it accepts the result produced by a computer since the computer generates the result in uh, computer readable format but that is not acceptable by the outside world we need a um, process that converts this computer generated results into a human understandable form so it accepts the uh, results produced by a computer which are in coded form hence we cannot easily understand them so it converts these coded results to human acceptable form it supplied the and then it supplied the converted results to the outside world a uh, storage unit as i told you right, data and instructions required for processing it holds the data and instruction means whatever data you are getting from the input unit it need to be saved somewhere for processing so a storage unit acts as a medium to store data and instructions 
it also stored the intermediate results for uh, for processing for example if you are calculating the result of a student you are calculating the percent of the student first of all you need to uh, find out the sum of all the marks and then uh, you uh, you can calculate the uh, percentage so the sum of the marks is your intermediate result so uh, uh, storage unit will also act as an inter uh, as a medium to store your intermediate results then it displays the results for output it also stores uh, it also stores the results for output means whatever uh, results uh, it uh, it is going to show the outside world it also stores those results and then it releases to the output device